Hey guys. Hey guys. How you doing? Hope you're all really good. So just what we're going to do this week guys is we're going to take you through a full van tour. So it's finally finished. By finished what we mean is all the main bits are in. No doubt we'll carry on tweaking it. But yeah all the main bits are done so we're going to take you on a full van tour so you can see what it looks like now and where we're going from there. And really good news is that we've had our logbook back and they've changed it to motor caravan. So we are now officially a motor caravan instead of a light panel van. Woo! So for you guys who haven't seen that video, that was a video we did two weeks ago uh, where we talked through how to get that reclassification done. All right, let's take you on the tour. All right, and guys, so first thing we've got is the unit, which is finally fitted. So we got it in kind of like a metallic aqua colour and then it's also got this white sparkle worked off which is pretty cool so you can see it's got loads of cupboards guys so it's got the other head cabinets so we'll probably put some cups and stuff in there and then we've got the main cabinets down here got a bit plenty of storage along with this here and obviously the electric panel just backs off there but yeah loads of loads of uh, storage down here guys we've got the cool box so this is a cool box that we decided to get instead of a fridge. So we got uh, a compressor cool box still. So it costs a lot more than the fan style cool boxes, but uh, the fan style cool box is only cool to about 10 to 15 degrees below the ambient temperature. So when it's really warm, like we've been having like 27, 28 degrees, they'll only go down to like 10. Uh, whereas because this uses a compressor, it goes a lot cooler and uses a lot less energy so it can it can actually be used as a deep freeze so it'll go to minus 18 i think it is um and then it only uses about a tenth of the power as the electric fan style ones so the other thing that's missing off the worktop guys is the table so this just hooks onto this little bar here and then it comes out like a table so like this metal bars there and then that counts as like a fixed table but it's fixed to the main body of the van and it just folds away when we don't want it anymore all right guys so we've got this here which is the rock and roll bed so it's got seat belts so it's MOT compliant so we can have two passages back here I don't know if you can see it's also got our logo embroidered on it, which the company kindly did for us free of charge, which is really cool. So this under here guys, it's got like a little lever, and it's just there, I don't know if you can see that, and all you literally do is just pull that, and then that releases it, and the whole bed, then pulls, the whole seat then pulls out, final bed. And then to fold it back guys, we literally just have to break it in half. It just pushes back into a seat and clicks back into place like that. Alright guys, so in the front here, in the cockpit area, we've got a single driver's seat and then we've got a twin passenger seat. Um, now some people switch these to single seats, but we wanted it to keep it as a double seat because it just gives us more capacity. Um, the front seat we've kept as it is, but this double seat we've put on a swivel base. Um, the front one there was no point because the unit's behind it, so there was kind of not enough room. But this double one swivels so it faces the opposite way. So.
<laughs> all right guys so you can see on the top of the van you've got this like black roof on the van that's actually a pop top so it sits quite low and you can't really notice it from the front which is quite nice and on the inside it looks like this so you can see some of the canvas is folded there but the rest of it is pretty nice and neat and tidy so all you do to undo it you see these straps here they've got like little uh, fasteners and you just literally we're just going to release those and then once that we've released both of those so there's plenty of kind of give with it literally all you then do is just push it up So you can see there, got a nice loads of room and you can then see this bit here which is like stuck so this is the bed which is like a roof bed so it looks like this at the minute we have got a mattress that goes on this so what we do is if we don't want the, to use the roof bed we we'll literally just push it up it's on gas struts and then we've got loads of headspace in the van so you can see from there guys absolutely loads of headspace it just means we can stand up about where we've got certain bits made or how we've installed certain bits or any sort of questions like that make sure you drop it in the comments section and as always if you've enjoyed what you've seen make sure you give us a like and hit the subscribe button that would be amazing all right guys see you next week <laughs>